شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا شكرا يا ربي شكرا يا ربي شكرا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Tim and I'm 24 years old. Alhamdulillah, my financial situation at the minute is stable. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I work for a da'wah organization and I'm currently in the middle of changing jobs but to another da'wah organization, alhamdulillah. So I've always been involved uh, in uh, da'wah organizations. But uh, with that comes the stability. But at the minute, I'm unable to save uh, any money. But Alhamdulillah, uh, Allah has allowed me to work in this field. Um, but I'm unable to save money for things such as Hajj. I'm able to save money, but not uh, a significant amount uh, as such. Alhamdulillah, I'm involved, um, as you know, in the Da'wah organization. This obviously means working uh, on making videos, making uh, YouTube videos, making documentaries, etc. Uh, all of which goes online, goes on TV, etc. And you know this can benefit the uh, the masses, and this can benefit a lot of people. And it's very good uh, in terms of helping communities, um, not only my community around me, but also communities across the UK and maybe further on. Um, so involved in, in, in terms of getting involved with communities, uh, I'm able to involve myself from that perspective, uh, as well as helping you know uh, revert uh, a revert organisation, which is. Uh, a hub for reverts to attend if they have any emotional issues, family issues, etc. Uh, they provide this service and I, I try my best to help them whenever they need me, uh, etc. So I try my best to involve myself in, in uh, organisations that befit my, not only myself but people who are uh, can relate to me. Islam means a lot to me, you know. It's one of the reasons that why I became Muslim is that I had a love for Islam and, you know, I became Muslim nearly five or six, nearly six years ago, and the moment I accepted Islam, you know, although you're a new Muslim, you've got a lot of energy and, and zealousness to to do well in uh, in pursuing your your right for your religion, you know, your love for the religion. Um, my development for my development for my love for Islam developed, I'd say, within the last year or two as I attended a few more classes and I attended more dars, etc., which can help me develop in my love for it. Um, and it allowed me to ponder upon the far past few years uh, where Allah has helped me in so many instances and so many occasions. And, you know, because of my love for Islam, you know, it helped me through that, that, that stage. Um, and, you know, it helped me progress. So my love for Islam is endless. And, bismillah, I can uh, continue loving Islam uh, as I should. What does Hajj mean to me? Hajj means a lot. You know, not only is it a dream for all of the Muslims across the world to, to, do, to perform. But it's also a dream for me because when I became Muslim, I, it was one of the things I already knew about Islam. There was not a lot of things I knew before I became Muslim, um, and Hajj was one of them. And as you know, it's our fard, and I'd love to perform it as soon as I can uh, in the younger stages of my life so I can perform it correctly, and not, not so much correctly, but more with, with energy so it's easier for me. Um, I know the struggles, but I know if I do it at a younger age, it will be a lot easier for me. And since I became Muslim, I've always wanted to go. You know, I've been on Umrah, uh, and when I went on Umrah, I saw Mina, I saw these places of Hajj, and I said to myself, you know, SubhanAllah, if Allah allows me to go, I'll be so grateful. And bithnillah, by Allah's will, I can, I can go uh, in my younger stages. That's why I aim. If not, then Qadrullah. Um, you know, Hajj means a lot to me, and I, and I can't wait uh, until the day Allah allows me to come. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me to reach um, reach my Hajj and allow me to do it uh, without any issues. But in that, Jazakumullah Khair. What is your message for the Ummah? You know, I've been thinking about this message quite a lot, um, and it's one I give quite frequently, uh, and that's to have sabr and good thoughts about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You know, since I became Muslim, I've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations. Um, some I'll keep disclosed, and one of them I won't keep disclosed because I think it's beneficial. Is my pa my father? He's not a Muslim. But he, uh, he actually had cancer, subhanAllah. Uh, he had bowel cancer and at this moment in time, not only did my dad have to have patience, but I had to have a huge amount of patience. Why? Because it's my father and I want what's best for him and I, wanted him, I want him to become Muslim. But that's in due time and that's to have, again, patience 
and good thoughts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will guide him. Um, and at this time, you know, I had went through a struggle of, of thinking bad about Allah and, and you know, not having patience and, and, and not looking forward to the future. And that's one thing I struggled with. So I went to a talk on a weekend, I went to a retreat um, and I was told to give a reminder after Salah. And the thing that was the only thing that was on my mind at that point in time was my father. So I spoke about my father, how you know I wanted um, him to become Muslim, and I was I was so I was so scared about him passing away if it was to be now, etc. And then whatever popped in my mind was, Subhanallah, it just came to my mind was to have patience, to think good of Allah, and to think that you know having patience through these hard times and having good shit, good, good a good mindset, Allah will be with you in your decisions after that. SubhanAllah, Allah promises it in the Qur'an. Allah says many things about sabr in the Qur'an. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those of the sabideen and allow us to think good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if things go wrong and we can have patience in those hard times. Bismillah. You know, number one, I want to make da'a for you guys. My first da'a for you guys is that you enter Jannah. Oh Allah, allow these people to enter Jannah. O oh Allah, allow their family to be of an offspring that allow them to enter Jannah. O oh Allah, allow their families and their children's children and their children's children and so on be of the children who you're happy with, Ya Rabb, so this person can attain reward endlessly until Yawm Al Qiyamah, Ya Rabb Al Alameen. You know, SubhanAllah, this is, uh, this is an amazing opportunity and I, I think you guys have done an amazing job and you're changing the lives of people. Not only are you changing the lives of the people that are, are going, but you're changing what is for the future. SubhanAllah, you know, and I really can't thank you guys enough. Uh, and to make this, uh, this dream become a reality like myself, dreaming about Hajj, dreaming about these things since I became a Muslim and worrying about the money that I would possibly be able to, how, how I would possibly be able to attain such money to, to, to go on Hajj, you know, and you've made this opportunity uh, clear for, for people like myself. And it's amazing, honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, SubhanAllah, may Allah bless you all and grant you all Jannah and the best in this life and the hereafter. اللهم آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا شكرا يا رب يا منزل القرآن يا خالق الإنسان يا رب يا رحمن شكرا يا يا منزل القرآن يا خالق الإنسان يا رب يا رحمن شكرا يا رب شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا نورت دربي شكرا شكرا يا رب Oh